Hi guys, this is Joey from DroidDog.com and today we're going to do a little walkthrough of Sense 3.6 running on the HTC Inspire 4G. Now keep in mind that this is actually a port from the Incredible S which uh, has official ice cream sandwich from HTC. HTC came out and stated they would not be bringing the update to the Inspire or the Desire HD um, which is basically the international variant of this device. and. Um, but the good work of some developers, uh, Team Blackout over at XDA, they ported the incredible version. They added a couple goodies in the process. So we're just going to take a look here. And the initial feel, it's very much, um, it's very much like the version of uh, Sense. Um, it's very much like Sense 3.0 or 3.5, if you ask me. I mean, you have the lock screen with the uh, ring that glides up, and then on each of the uh, sorry for getting some glare here each right here we have the little uh, the, the various apps that you can open directly from uh, like you know right here I go to camera and now it'll open up the camera and there it's the camera the other things uh, it brings um, well one one of the bigger things that I noticed that I really like is the notifications I mean we have the regular notifications right here we have the upper taskbar right here and then we have quick settings now the quick settings aren't your typical quick settings they have a bunch of extra options like right here is flashlight so I just turned on the flashlight hope I didn't blind you right there uh, we've also got some blackout tweets other various things we'll just take a peek here at settings to prove that the device is running the version of Android I say it is software information Android 4.0.4 Sense version 3.6, software number, blackout ice cream sandwich, incredible version 3.0.0. Alright. One thing we'll take a look at the app drawing here, and it's not exactly like Sense 4 on uh, something like the 1X, but it's um, it does take more to Sense 3.5 than it actually does for... Um, sorry, I've got our group chat, the people are talking. Uh, it takes more to sense 3.5 than it does to 4.0, but it does have some of those elements in there. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I think HTC didn't want to confuse people with a completely new update that they still wanted people to be able to use the device as, um, you know, as so. And, and uh, the, the HTC Inspire is currently running, officially at least, um, I believe Android 2.0. I think it's two point or not and well it's running gingerbread but I believe it's running since uh, oh now it's been updated to since 3.0 so it looked a lot like this but prior to it it had the older interface nothing like the newer since 3.0 the older one with you know the app and then the big phone the app the big phone and the customization options and that's one thing this thing retains is you can personalize the device to a great extent we have all the various um, scenes, skins, wallpapers, lock screen style. It also comes with a couple different launchers, I believe. It gave me the option when I began flashing it. And um, performance has been incredibly smooth for me. I felt that this is uh, probably the smoothest ROM I've used so far on this device because some of these 3.0 ones, they'd really get um, buggy and slow. Battery life, uh, I haven't been able to fully test battery life, but so far so good. Um, right now we'll take a peek at how much battery life I have um, power and it's been on for an hour and 40 about an hour and 45 minutes the screen 60% and we're all, and the screen's got a lot of screen on time here we've got um, 15 minutes of screen on time and it's only at 92% battery so not the biggest drain either and this whole time it's been getting these push updates from group me our group chat our group chat client application excuse me there so i'm going to be using this for a couple more days just just to give it a try and uh, maybe i'll write up some stuff but this is joey lato from droiddog.com this is the sense version and if you want to flash it uh, be be careful because as always we recommend that we are not responsible for any flashing you may do to your device on our uh, on something you read from us I'll include the link to the ROM itself and uh, happy flashing once again Joey Lato from droiddog.com catch you later